Hi everybody, this is Tina with Rehatch Designs. Hope everybody's doing well. I am here with a fun Friday. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to be playing with our stamps, with some watercolors. Um, this is something that I just somehow I never uh, get around to doing. I'm not that good at stamping and I'm very bad at watercoloring. <laughs> so this is not a tutorial. This is a craft with me. Um, it's a craft and chat. So, you know, that is what we're doing here. Okay. Um, you might have fun doing it. You might learn something, um, you know, or, or just enjoy watching me try and do it. So anyway, that's what we're going to do today. Um, First off, though, I do want to tell you that um, our special surprise for this fun Friday is we are going to have a giveaway today. Um, normally, I have my giveaways um, pretty much uh, when I hit milestones. Like, we're getting very close to 5,000, and I will have a big giveaway for that. Uh, but I am going to be doing these little uh, random uh, giveaways and more than likely I'm going to do them on Fridays because it we're going to have fun. Um, but anyway, the way that I'm doing the random ones is that uh, you uh, make a comment on my channel for a video that I've watched uh, within the week or however from the last time I gave away to the next. It could be a week, could be two weeks, whatever. So today I'm having a giveaway so I will count from um, today till the next giveaway. However many um, videos I have out there, let's say I have five, let's say, or ten. If I have ten videos, then what I will do is I will do my random uh, a number picker and pick one through ten, okay? And um, if it's number eight, then we'll pick number eight. Um, and then on that day, whoever made a comment, then they will go into drawing for that day. And the way that'll work is pretty much the same way the other one does, but I'll explain that. Um, so if I have um, 11 people comment and I do my random number picker, one through 11, and it says number five, then number five, and in the order that they come in, number five, um, wins. That's how it works. Um, you do have to be a public subscriber and uh, only one comment per video. It does not matter if it's a new video or an old video on my um, my uh, big giveaways. It really does not matter um, because um, chronologically I can tell who's been commenting uh, as long as you're a public subscriber. So you will be entered one video, I mean one comment per video, but on these, okay, it does have to be uh, a video within that span from like the la a newer video. So in other words, um, I'm doing one this week and it's based on the last um, five videos. So, um, you know, I'm going one through five. And um, I don't know, I think I picked, I don't remember what number it was. I'd have to look on my paper. But in, in other words, it's only one through five of the last five days. So then today um, we'll start another day. And let's say from today on, I do six more videos. Well, it has to be one of those six newer videos to do this giveaway okay but the big giveaway it doesn't matter if it's an old two-year-old three-year-old video doesn't matter you can watch it make a comment and you're entered in so I have over 200 videos so if you watch all 200 and you comment on all of them that's 200 entries that you're gonna get this one's different it is the current probably I'm gonna do this weekly guys um, but you know I don't want to promise because there may be sometimes you know, I can't or I don't post something on Friday or I'm out of town or whatever. But um, so it'll be whatever, whatever span of those videos are. I hope that explains it. If you have any questions, let me know. Okay. 
Um, so anyway, I already did the drawing because I wanted to hurry up and get this stuff done. Um, we It was based on Fun Friday Making Wax Seals, which was last Friday. Um, and the winner was um, at Diana Campanelli at 3250. So Diana, she watches almost every video and comments on every video. Her chances of winning... Um, are really good. You're going to see on stuff like this, a lot of my same people win, and it's mainly because they watch, and I know they're watching because the comments that they make, I can tell they've watched the video. Um, and so she won this time, and she is going to get um, this uh, journal that I made, and there's also going to be a surprise goodie bag in there with that. Um, I think I have her her address. Um, if not, I will go ahead and put my... The way I'll do this is I'll put my email address in the description box. And then you can email me your um, address so I can send it to you. I do think I have hers though. I'm not positive though. But anyway, um, that is what she has won. And there's, like I said, I am actually... Some of the stuff that people are going to get is going to be um, me just getting rid of some of my stash and um, probably journals I've made and things like that too. All right, so let's get to today. So the whole reason I, this is, I'm doing something completely different than what I thought I was going to do, but I was doing some cleaning up in my craft room and I was trying to organize my stamps and I went, gosh, uh, a, there's quite a few here I've never used. B, I haven't used them in a really long time, um, even the ones I have used. And then um, the watercolors, I bought something. I haven't even used them at all. So I thought, okay, that's what my Fun Friday is going to be, guys. It's not a tutorial. It's not something I'm necessarily good at. Uh, so I'm sorry, but it's more of a craft and chat. And, you know, me just getting my stuff out and playing with it and bringing you along for the ride. Okay, so what I want to do is kind of show you the things I'm using. I am using several inks here. Um, archival ink. Um, you need a uh, 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 an ink that's permanent because we're going to be using water and you don't want the ink to smear. Uh, I got potting soil. Vintage Photo, Black Soot, and um, Ground Espresso. I was thinking about doing colors, but I'm going to kind of keep it simple um, and do it with this. Um, I do have some uh, watercolor. Uh, I, I haven't ever bought any of these before, and that was part of the thing. I hadn't even ever used these. Um, it's this brand called Falling in Art. It was not super expensive, and I I am not a watercolor. I'm not a painter, but I think they're pretty good for what I paid for them. They're very inexpensive. I got them on Amazon. Um, I got this uh, watercolor kit, and uh, what is I can't, B-I-A-N-Y-O. I think that's how you say it. Um, I think they're pretty good. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a... I'm not a, a official watercolor person, so I don't know. I'm looking for the thing that goes on that. Well, I can't find it. Oh, well, anyway, it's B-I-A-N-Y-O, I believe. Okay? And, um, it, you know, it doesn't have a ton of colors, but it has quite a few. And that was what I needed because I really had not... I didn't have anything. So, um, anyway, so I'm going to be using those. I mean, I could have used, like, my Distress... Uh, crayons and or my Tim Holtz new uh, pencils. Apparently you can um, take the you know water and you know uh, use those pencils but I haven't used these and I wanted to use them um, and I thought this would be fun. Um, I have a ton of different stamps guys but first, let me show you the paper. This paper I'm using, it's it's a thick paper. Um, it's it's uh, 
It's thicker than mixed media, but what's really cool about it is the way it tears is it has like these rough edges around it and it has it has like a fibery feel to it. So for what we're gonna do, it's gonna be what's gonna be fun is that we can tear around it and this is the brand. Um it says uh leather village. So anyway, um it's really cool paper. I love it um, for the re for the tearing more than anything. Um, any kind of watercolor paper, mixed media would work. But I, I'm just showing you what I'm using. As far as stamps goes, I'll kind of just tell you uh, what they are as I go, if I know. Because some of them I've had for a really, really long time. And honestly, I have no idea, no idea where I got some of them. Before I was doing um, videos, I never I never kept the packaging or anything. Um, okay, so anyway, let's start and do something simple. Hopefully simple. So I am gonna take one of these. And it looks like I got some stuff on there. I've been playing with this stuff um, for a little bit and I got a little carried away. But anyway, let me move this stuff over here so I can get to my wipes over here because I'm going to need them. All right, so anyway, we're going to try uh, doing this and I am going to, I think I'm going to stamp first and then separate the this later. So um, I might go ahead and tear this though. How big do I want this? Yeah, I'm going to do it like in half. Because I don't want to have this big old piece to work with on my desk. It tears. See like that? I love it. it has that kind of fibery look to it. And let's see. I'm going to go. I'm going to go like this. We'll use all these pieces. Trust me. So anyway. So we'll use this piece right here. And I've got a, a clean water little bowl. And then I've got one for my dirty water. Um, what I do is I, I uh, continually change out. Um, I take my, the, the clean water when it gets dirty and dump it in with the dirty water. And then rinse it out. And then I just keep doing that because I, I end up using a lot of brushes. Okay. I'm not using my stamping platform, so I'm hoping this will turn out um, just because it's a little faster. And I think I'm going to try. Uh, I get Ground Espresso, Vintage Photo. I think I'm going to try Vintage Photo. Um, and like I said, it does have to be a waterproof um, ink because we're going to. Um, we're going to uh, watercolor on them. And I am doing my Boho Gypsy Journals. That's my goal is to have this finished in the next few weeks. Which might be, I don't know. We're going to supposed to go out of town so it may not happen. But um, in doing those, I have a lot of colorful things that I'm going to be doing. And so I wanted to have some things to put in there. Okay, so let's just put that down. And the one thing that I've noticed on this paper, it's very, very porous, so you do have to kind of leave it there for a while. Um, you, you know, yeah, you need to press it good, but I think I just moved it, which is not good. That's why I use my um, stamping thing, but it doesn't matter because they don't need to be perfect. Yeah, that's good enough. That's plenty good. It doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, it looks kind of better when it's not perfect. Where am I going to pile all these up? Okay, now that stamp, I have no idea where I got it. Um, this is a Tim Holtz stamp. And I do not know what the name of it is. Blah. I have all the numbers on this little thing. And this is from uh, Stampers Anonymous. It's this smaller stamp. Blah. It doesn't say. It just says mixed media. It's this one right here. And it comes with a stencil. 
So um, I really love these. And I know that he has a lot of his really big stamps like this. Um, and I need to get some of those because I love them. But I didn't get the ones that were like this because they were really big. And I, I just, I kind of think that I would use these more. Um, the size of them. I, it's the size that of the flower. Yeah, I think that'll fit. Okay. So I'm going to kind of take this. And I basically have taken all, almost all my stamping blocks out. So you're going to go that way. Okay, I can live with that. It's kind of a light uh, brown color, and I like that. Where am I putting you? Okay. Um, let's just do... Um, this one is... What happened to that one that I had here? This one is a um, sand pool design. And I was going to show you that. That's this one. I love... I have both of these. I use this, uh, I use these all the time. They're just they're cool. Um, and this is a sand pool design. And I think I'm going to do a darker color for that. I don't know. I think I'm going to use ground espresso. There's something on the stand. There's like some kind of glue or something. I wonder where that came from. Who knows. I cleaned up a little for you guys. It's kind of like when you have company, you know. But if you saw around here, you would just... I'm, my organizing this year is just not good. My whole house needs to be organized. My garage. My craft room. Ugh. But part of it is, it's been kind of cold and then rainy and whatever. You don't really feel like doing much, you know. Okay, what happened to the rest of that half paper that I had? Oh gosh, here we go. Here it is, right here. I'm going to use that, I think. My paper's going to be completely um, dry by the time I get done with this. Okay, that'll be good. Alright, I hope this works. And it probably would help if I stood up too, because we're going to end up tearing it all off anyway. All right, guys, we're going to try this again. Hopefully this time it works. I'm going to leave it on there longer with lots of pressure. All right, I'll tear it off. Her stamps are really good. It has nothing to do with her stamp. It has to do with me. And I think what it is is that this paper is super porous. And you have to put a lot of ink on, and you also, um, I'll use that later. I'll sh and I'll show you some that were messed up that I used, and they turned out really good still. Um, you really have to put a lot of ink on it, and then you also have to leave it down. Because I've used her stamps before, and I've had no issues. So I think it has a lot to do with me. Um... I did want to say something that um, I saw some Facebook groups and some YouTubers talking about um, what really is a junk journal, if it, it's supposed to be made out of junk, and I think I made a comment on Facebook. Um, you know, I... I do use a lot of recycled things in my junk journals, and um, the only thing I have to say is that a junk journal really, literally, does not have to be made out of junk. It's an interpretation because, in my opinion, one person's um, junk is another person's treasure. There's things that I have that I absolutely treasure that other people would probably throw away and vice versa. Um, the other thing is it is art and it's subjective and there are no rules in art so trying to apply rules I think is kind of futile and it, it doesn't serve a good purpose. Alright, let's try guys. Cross your fingers. Oh yeah, well 
See, it still turned out kind of grainy, didn't it? <sighs> this is just getting old. I'm going to try it on the other side. It is not the stamp, I promise you. It has to do with the paper. The paper is super porous. Because I have used that stamp and I have had no issues with it. So, I'll try it again. I'm going to make sure I put a ton of ink. And this is a brand new ink pad, so there should be plenty of ink on there. I would think. Okay, let's try that. And I think the big thing for me is to make sure that I leave it down long enough because, like I said, this is super porous and I don't want to... Yeah, that's plenty good enough. You kind of don't want it perfect, but see how pretty that is? It's a beautiful stamp. So I think it really has a lot to do with... Um, um, the leaving it on there because I've had trouble with all my stamps that I've been using simply because of the fact I think that it just is um okay let me get that off of there because I'm going to keep using this Ay, I already have stuff on blocks so I really kind of was thinking I could do this faster but I don't know I think the super detailed ones probably won't be a big deal Ugh. okay all right, let's try. This is a Tim Holtz one. Now, this is a brand new one, so we might have problems with that, guys. I don't know. What did I do with the dragonfly that I did? There we go. Uh, let's try. Well, I, had, I thought I had a piece of paper that I was going to use. Maybe I already used it. All right. Huh. I might. Oh, I think I did. I think that was my do-over. So let's do, do that. I could have done it on a bigger piece, but I don't this will be fine. Anyway, um, so the conversation I think really should be everyone do what they want to do use what you want to use I mean I totally understand um, people's idea that you know they want to use junk and they don't want to have to go buy things and that is totally okay but it's also totally okay if you want to go buy things there's a lot of people out there um, this is uh, black set there's just a lot of people out there oh, I'm doing it on here why did I do that <sighs> okay, well, I'm just going to stamp it on there because I forgot that I was going to put it on my platform. So let's hope it works. Um, a lot of people, you know, they enjoy the hunt. They enjoy going out to thrift shops and stuff and buying new things and trying new things. And if they're in a place in their life where they're comfortable doing that, I don't see anything wrong with that. I just don't. I think it's just fine. So, um, anyway, so that was the conversation. Okay, that one turned out good. That's fine. That's all we need. Um, let's see, what other ones are we going to do? Put you aside. i got to stack these somewhere because I'm running out of room. Um, uh, what would be a good one to do? Um, oh, this is a good one. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to just go ahead and hope for the best. Because it's going to take too long to undo all these. I don't want to... Um, I don't think I want to do black on that. I want to do potting soil, I think. You know, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some vintage photo on there because I want it a little bit darker. And I'm making sure I put a lot of ink on because I do think that is part of the problem. 
Alright, I'm not going to tear this. I'm going to go ahead and just stamp it and then hope for the best. But anyway, I mean, I think people use digitals to help them, you know, at least I do, for um, just to give you a starting point, you know. It's still, you still got to come up with all the stuff you're going to put in it and what your theme is and where to put things and there's a lot to it. Um, and I don't see anything wrong with that. I, you know, um, and I don't see anything wrong with making junk journals just from junk, but I mean, I don't know. I guess I don't really even understand the judgment personally. I just really don't. I just think everybody should be doing what they want to do because it's art and you know, art has no rules. I think, um, Andrea Artie Mays um, just did a journal and her journal cover said art has no rules and I really really um, agree with that so okay that turned out pretty decent that's good enough it doesn't have to be perfect because honestly we are going to be covering up a lot of that okay I'm going to pull that out um, let's see. I do want to do like a bug or a butterfly. Let's do a butterfly. Let's do a butterfly. Okay. I'm going to do a butterfly and then I'll probably call it quits, even though I have more stamps lined up over here. Um, I might do one more. Who knows? And am I going to do, I'll do vintage photo again. I like it because it's not too, too dark. And when you see what we'll do, you'll see, um, you'll see why it makes a difference. So, but anyway, so the whole conversation um, really was all about, um, you know, what is a real junk journal? So, I don't know. My two cents are, it's whatever, whatever you want. I mean, that's what I think is so great about it is that it has no rules it has no preconceived ideas of what it needs to be so it just really allows people to be very creative and do all kinds of things and that's kind of why I'm doing this today just show you hey there's other things that you can do oh you know what I did want to do speaking of which this is um, a stamp I got from a dollar store and I wanted to try it out and see how it's stamped or $1.25 store, right? Okay. Oh yeah, that's stamped good. Okay. And I have no idea where I got that stamp, so... Alright, let's try the $1.25 store. I guess they're not going to change their name, huh? So, I want to see how this turns out. Come on! Alright. I like this one. I like a lot of them. I mean, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Alright, let's see. It doesn't seem really detailed, so I don't know whether it's going to work or not. You know, if it doesn't have a lot of detail and it has a lot of flat surface, it might not work. And, you know, if, if it's not a very detailed stamp, um, it's just, you won't be, it's, you're going to have too much dark area, and it might not work. That doesn't mean it's a bad stamp, but just, you know, not going to work for our situation here. Um, I'm going to try black, I don't know, because if it's, if it, it's going to have a lot of, well, let's see. We'll see, guys. It may not work. And this is the first time I've used the stamp, so... I have another one I want to try. It may not work because it is the first time I've used it, so. And that's part of the problem with these stamps is that um, you really kind of have to kind of break them in too. So anyway, that was kind of the conversation and 
I just wanted to say that um, I don't really understand why it's a big deal. Okay, this one is Crafter's Companion and it has this peacock, which I really, no, I don't think I'll do that one today. It's very detailed and I just think it will um, have some pretty flowers that would probably work. But I think it would be too detailed for what we're going to do for today. I mean, I think it would work on what we're doing, but we're not going to have time to do all that, I don't think. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. It's, this is a great stamp, and I think for $1.25, it's a fantastic stamp. But because it has so much dark area in here, it may not work very good. So, But I'm going to try it. We'll try it. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and start doing what we're going to do. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is probably, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, these stamps are from Tim Holtz. And these are actually made, I think he calls them watercolor stamps. Um, and the reason being is it has a very loose um, look to it. And they actually are the best ones to use for this. Um, it's actually the only one I have um, like that. But honestly, here, that needs to be cleaned. It's all... A different green color not good and so um, honestly the best thing to do um, if you're doing this is you're gonna do it loosely um, there's some flowers in there as you can see it looks like it's just kind of sketched on there which is that actually is a good a good flower to use uh, I usually go with a lighter color first. Um, it doesn't really matter, you know, but um, I'm just going to take a light color. And I'm not worried about perfectly being in the lines or any of that stuff because we're not going to worry about that. And so what it'll look like when you're doing this is it's just going to look like a sketched flower. And that's why I don't really use that much um, dark, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, like, you know, really dark, dark black or anything. I use the gray or the black soot is about as dark as I go. And that is because um, I, I just want it to look like it was kind of sketched. So, and that we we sketched this flower, and then now we're painting it. And like I said, it's not I'm not good at this. Um, there are certainly um, great uh, people out there that can show you how to watercolor. And there's probably great stampers. I'm not a I'm not a card maker. I don't use stamps for that. Um, I tried it, but I'm just not into it. I'm going to go ahead and do that up here. It's not going to matter if you mess up because honestly, nobody will ever see it. All right, that needs to go here. So I'm just loosely going around the flowers. And um, so now I'm going to go and I'm going to, oh, I should have done one more. Okay. I'm going to let that dry a little bit and I'm going to go in and um, oh, I shouldn't have done that. That isn't my change my water. I can change it later. I'm going to go in and take a darker kind of pinky mauve color. Get some of that. And I'm going to just add this to the flower. And all I'm doing is just adding some, um, you know, just some more dimension to it. So, so anyway, that is going to go ahead and give it a little bit of shading. And that's all you're really after. Um, you're not looking for perfection here. You're just trying to make it look handmade, hand painted, hand sketched. And honestly, guys, I use these on um, different things. I, you know, there just comes to a point when you can only do so many pretty ladies and whatever, and you've got to have other things to decorate your journal. 
So, you know, oh, there, that's it right there. It's another flower. And I didn't do this one up here. Um, you know, you've got to have other things. So, and this gives you some, some different options here. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead. See, I did it again. I'm going to wind up having to change that water out pretty quick. So, um, let's see. Why don't we do... Uh, I'm going to use a different brush. I am going to use this and go in. And I'm going to take... I'm going to go in and do the greenery. And I'm, I'm just going to go and do um, kind of a light green... There's two different kinds in here, actually three different kinds. Um, and I'm just going to go in with a light green right here. And that is going to be my first, and I'm going really fast, guys, so I'm not really trying to be perfect or anything. All I'm doing is um, just kind of going over it. And I'm not, I don't care if I'm getting in there perfectly. because That is not the goal. Because if that were the goal, I probably wouldn't even try. Um, but it's fun. This is very relaxing. Um, I know a lot of people um, like to do stuff like collage and whatever. Well, this is, to me, the same kind of thing. And I know there's a lot of people, the coloring you know, thing where they love to color. Well, this is kind of the same. And um, let's see. I'm going to take a darker green over here. And I'm going to do that right here. And all you're doing is just making it um, just look like a, you know, maybe a hand painted little flower. And you're going to put it in your journal. And we will use it um, different ways. So, I think I'm going to, I need another green. There's another greenery over there. So, and I'm just going to take that little trailing thing here. Um, let's see here. I haven't, well, it might be too close to the other green. Let's try this green. Try a different green here. And all I'm doing is just, as I said, and I'm going to actually kind of add some of this other green to, or different green to this green. So it um, has a little bit more depth. And the only reason I even, um, I guess this is going to be my clean water one. I changed it, changed it around. Um, the only reason I even uh, I need a, let's see, what did I use on that one? Add different colors is just to kind of give it a little bit more of a hand painted kind of like, see, this is a different green than the one I put down there. And I'm just going to add a little of that here and there. And maybe a little bit over here. And any spots that I've missed, I go back in and I just add another green or whatever. And what that usually does is it gives it just a different, kind of a different look. Okay. And I'm doing this fast and I'm not really taking my time, but you could take as much time as you want. So anyway, that is our flower. And um, it's certainly not perfect, but it will work for what we're going to use it for. Um, let's see. Let's put that aside. Okay, so um, let's try the dragonfly. That would be fun. The dragonfly. Uh, let's see here. I move that. Everything's falling. I want to take him, and I am going to put. Okay, so these are going to go in there, I guess. I am going to put um, blue. Let's try this blue right here. So 
So anyway, I have had a busy few weeks, let me tell you. My son, um, oldest son, I have three sons, um, is staying with us and he um, has three uh, golden retrievers. No, two, I'm sorry. With mine, I, we have three. And it has been rainy and ugh, just really bad. And so I was like, you know, it's just been mud constantly. And they've been good. Don't get me wrong. They're very good dogs. But they're just, it's just a lot, a lot of cleaning up. And I don't like to spend time cleaning because I like to be crafting. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so now I'm just going to take um, some white. And I'm going to take some white. And I'm going to go right in through here and pull this up a little bit. Make it look a little bit more translucent. And I am not, like I said, I am not a watercolor painter, so no idea the right way to do things. So I have two sisters that, I mean, they are so good, but they do mainly acrylic. But I'll tell you, if I think I, if I did paint, I think I would do watercolor because I just like, it's just fun. I love all the blending and that part of it. Okay, so now I'm going to, it has this squiggly thing here, and I, I'm trying to think, what am I going to do with that? Am I going to leave it that way? I think it feels like it needs something, right? Um, how about, how about, how about that? How about I do that? Okay, I'm rinsing these off a little bit so I can use them in a little bit. How about, we'll try that. Okay, so I'm gonna try this little, I don't know, kind of a gold color here. And all I'm gonna do is just take that and I'm gonna kinda, cause I know you can see the brown through it and I want it to kinda look like his body. Cause right now he just looks like a big spiral line here. So, yeah, I think that's good. I think that's perfect. All right, so I like that, and that's all. You know what? The only other thing, I'm going to try one more thing. One more thing. Um, I think I'm going to get some of this really, really dark blue. And I'm going to go right here like that. Oops. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Okay, good. And I'm just doing a little bit. And the shading is what makes it um, look more kind of painted and, you know, handmade. And I don't know. I don't know. It just I think to me is what makes it look a little bit more fun. Okay, so now let's rinse that out. All right, um, how much time do we have? Oh gosh, guys, we are just gonna run out of time really quick. Um, we did all that stamping. We need to use our, the stuff we stamped. I don't know what other things we have that we could use. We worked really hard on this. We should probably, we should probably use it, right? So I think this one is going to be maybe this yellow, probably better. And I'm just going to kind of go all over. Now these stamps, because they are um, tight as far as, you know, um, not having a ton of um, space in between them, all you're doing really is adding color to make it look like, you know, you colored all that in. 
And I think we use vintage photo on this one, which see, it just, now see how I went out like that? No big deal, guys, because when we, later on, it'll look, it'll look fine. So, um, yeah, the second part of this, I may have to just do it on another video, but, and show you what we're going to make with these. We might just do it on our Mass Make Monday. How about that? But anyway, guys, um, yeah, so I haven't got to do a lot of the things I wanted to do because I'm spending time, you know, remopping the floor or doing more dishes or something because when you have people, extra people and dogs and, you know, it's just, uh, my, hus my husband is, you know, helping when he can, but he's gone back to the work. You know, well, he's been working, but, you know, gone back to the office. So he can only do so much. And then my son, you know, he, his job is like an hour away. So he had a flood in his house and they're redoing all the flooring. Okay, so I'm just taking some of this orange and I am going to kind of go toward the middle a little bit. And just a little bit right here. And a little bit right here. Um, so, you know, it's been kind of, kind of been a, a little bit of an issue. Not, I mean, nothing terrible, but just, it has really, I had all these great plans and, you know, stuff like that happens and you can't can't really do anything okay so this is kind of like a a burnt orange an umber type or brownish type color may have to wait for that to dry a little bit more and I'm just putting that in the middle um, let me clean that off I think I'm gonna let that dry a little and then I'm gonna blend it some or maybe I'll do it now. Maybe I'll blend it now. I don't want it to be too orange, but I don't want it to not blend. Um, I don't know. I'm not really crazy about that right now, but I'll try the yellow a little bit. Pick up some of that orange. You can definitely always go in and add different colors and mess with it, but Okay, I'm going to let that dry, and then we'll deal with it. And then, um, same thing, you're going to go ahead and um, gonna do your little, um, you're going to do your stems. And I think probably I will do this color. So I... I'm not getting any of the organizing done that I thought I was going to, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. There's no time frame that says I have to do it by this time. It's just irritating. Um, I'm not at a point where I can't find things, you know, but I am trying to revamp some things, so... Um, I can't do it. Now, last year, I really had, I had no choice but to stop crafting and clean my craft room because it had gotten to the point where I could not find anything. I can still find things. I mean, I, I actually, I mean, it's still pretty organized because I put things away, um, but I have to move things around because there are some things that are not working for me where they're at. They don't make a lot of sense. Um, you don't, you know, when you redo your craft room, you don't necessarily know things until you try it, right? You're not going to know. I could have put some yellow over there. So that's kind of how it is, you know. And then also, too, things change. You know, you may 
try and you may be doing different crafts or you may find you're doing one kind of thing more than another and then um, for instance like I have my boho journals and I have all kinds of stuff that I put in them and that takes like a lot more room than you would think and you know so I messed up over here but you won't be able to tell later I promise okay so now I'm gonna put a little green over here Okay, so I am going to add the yellow to this right here because I didn't put any earlier. And see where I messed up here? I'm just going to kind of go around and round it and so it kind of then looks like it's on purpose <laughs> rather than I messed up. Um, so it just it tends to look better when you do that. I'm going to add a, just a little bit different color green here. So I think I'm going to take some of this really, really dark green. Or maybe this one. And I'm just going to take a little of it and go in in here. And I'm only doing this because it adds a little bit more, um, a little more depth to it. And that's what gives it that, you know, hand-painted, little look to it. Alright, and then anytime I've kind of messed up, I kind of go in there and just do that. And I, the only other thing I want to do is some brown in the middle. I'm going to do a little bit of this darker brown. And that is going to kind of go here a little bit. Right. I do think it needs more orange though. Let's try this. Alright. I like that. I have no idea what kind of flower I'm trying to make, guys. So, um... And I don't ever worry about that. I just kind of do my thing. I think that's it. Let's see. I don't know. We have the bird left. We have this flower. We do have a rose. A rose would be pretty. Well, did we already do one? We did not do a rose, did we? I don't think we did. We did not do a rose. Let's do a rose. Um, I don't know. Let's try this one. Put those over here. Um, let's try this. Get enough paint on there. And so this is a great stamp, but it is already filled in quite a bit. So we're just going to try and um, we're just going to go in there and and what happens is uh, when you use this brown and stuff, it kind of just looks like you shaded it or colored it or whatever. Um, and that's what makes it work. You know, when it all dries. Let's see, we've got a rose here. And this didn't stamp that good, so I'm kind of... Ab living this a little bit. Okay. So let's see. We've got to do green. I'm going to do a really dark green, I think. Maybe this green over here really would be better. And I'm going to go in and do that. And you can see I'm just plopping paint. And see where it didn't stamp real good? That's okay because I can see the outline and I'm just going to go in there and, um, you know, just add color where it would normally be and it, you can barely tell that it wasn't stamped well. That's why I was saying it doesn't have to be perfect. But you do need it, you know, enough to where you can kind of see the design. All right. 
right? And I think that goes there. All right, and then let's see here. We're going to add some different color to it. So I want to use this um, lighter color here. And I'm going to add a little bit around the edges here. And on this one, we're not going to be able to add that much because it is colored in so much. So. But the different shading will help it look a little pop a little bit. And then I'm going to take a, a lighter green and kind of just go around the edges of this a little bit. Let me get a little bit here. And that is just going to give me a little bit more depth. All right, I think that's good enough. Okay, we've got this one. This is that last, um, I don't know. I don't know what kind of thing that is. Let's try, let's try purple. Let's try, what have a purple flower. How about that? And I'm doing these vibrant colors because I'm doing my boho journal and these are going to work really well for that. And I, you know, there's only so many, you know, boho ladies you can put in a boho journal. you got to have some other stuff going on. <laughs> so... And I looked at all those stamps and I went, well, you know what? I haven't used these. Now, I did not connect that enough, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and let that dry a little bit. And I'm going to add more color to it in a minute. Um, so let's try the screen over here just to try it and go... going to go that way and it doesn't matter if it's perfect or not although I would have liked it better than that <laughs> but that's okay in the end you won't be able to tell but the stuff we're going to do it's not going to be that noticeable so okay now I'm going to take some darker purple and I'm going to go down here with it just to bring in another little bit more color and then I think I'm going to take a little bit of white and kind of go up here with that just to make that other purple a little bit lighter up here All right And this stem that I'm not very happy with, I'm going to take a very dark green and I'm going to try and fix this a little bit. If I put a little bit of a darker color in here, then it's going to maybe look like this stem. Yeah, that helps a little bit. And I don't want to go out too much, but I'm trying to just kind of add all that in there. There we go. All right, so that's all I'm going to do for now. Um, I'm going to show you what we did and some other ones that I did and the other thing oh yeah I know what I wanted to do too guys I wanted to show you where did that one go here we go I have this big one and this is like a um, big stamp that I have I can't find the stamp I don't know where I got it from um I mean, I know where I got it from, but I don't know the, who made it. Um, so, 
I don't know what to tell you as far as that goes. But these, this is fun to do. You can put this on a page. You can paint that. It's just like coloring, really. And I did another one. And, I, you know, I didn't do a great job. But it's, it's fun. And it's, you know, it's something different. And I like to do those. I don't think I'm going to have time to do that today. Um, let's see here. What does our time look like? So we have our purple one. We have this rose. We have that one. We have that one. We have that one. We have that one. And then I did some others. We were going to do some craft with me, but I'll do that. I'm going to wait till Monday to do that. So I had that one. I had that one. Some similar ones. I did this in uh, blue. Here is another dragonfly. Um, here is another butterfly. And let's see, here is another one of those. I don't know what those kind of flowers are. Here is another flower that I did. Here is another one of those Tim Hulse ones. There's another one. Here is another butterfly. Another flower. Another flower. And another one of those. A small dragonfly and another butterfly. So anyway, that is what I did and I have had fun with this. Um, I think on Monday we may just do a mass make uh, doing something with these. I mean, you can use these on tags. You can use them like here, that butterfly you could put somewhere. I don't remember what I was going to do on all of these. Um, I think I was going to like put make a little bag with that and put that on there just to give you something different to work with um, that's colorful that you may want to use in a journal. Um, I think that they look cool. Um, you could certainly stamp and then paint on a page um, if you wanted to do that. Um, I like to sew around these. That's why I kind of use this um, stuff. Let me get one and show you. So I like this, that I like to sew around it, okay, or sew it on something and then, I, you know, tear around this a little bit more because this does tear really well. And, you know, and then that way you've got this really cool embellishment that you can use on a journal. Let's see, that needs to kind of go like that. And the water helps it tear a lot, so this paper just, I love it because of that rough edge. And you know, you can put that on something, you could put that on something. Um, the flowers are great. You can't really go wrong with flowers because, you know, here's that one in blue. Um, you know, take that and put that on a card or something or put this on a tag or you could just clip that in a journal the way it is um, I mean there's so many things that you can do with these and it really you know gives you some other options other than just like a digital just something that looks handmade and personal and artsy all right, that's it, guys. So I will see you again. I guess it's Stash Buster Sundays. have no idea what I'm going to do. Um, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to keep up the schedule and doing that many videos. Um, you know, right now, that it puts me at five videos a week, which is a lot um, of videos because it does take a lot of time. Um, so we shall see um, if I can do that. Uh, the last time I tried to do that, the problem was is I got to the point where I never had time to actually work on journals. And, you know, that's what I'm doing this for, so I can work on journals. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't mind sharing with you guys, but I really, I like to work on journals. I like making them. I love making them. So, I want to have some time to do that. So, we shall see what happens. And, Diana, make sure that you contact me with your um, email address, although I, I really think I have it, but I don't know for sure.
All right, we'll see you. Take care.